Hello everyone, and welcome to the next edition of the Holland Land Office Museum's Artifact Video Series. My name is Ryan Duffy, and I'm the director of the museum. And this week, we're going to talk about one of the uh, old landmarks of the past here in Batavia, and one that represented the more lively side of Batavia and the social aspects of Batavia. Uh, and this was one of the social clubs that popped up in Batavia that was all the rage. Uh, social clubs were uh, a movement in the late 19th and into the early 20th century for groups to get together and of shared interests. And Batavia was no different than other cities and towns in that it had several of these different clubs show up. Uh, probably the most famous is the Batavia Club. We're going to talk about probably its biggest competitor uh, here in Batavia, and that's the Holland Club. Uh, now, the Holland Club has its beginnings at the very beginning of the 20th century and lasts for nearly three decades, um, but falls off much quicker than uh, other clubs of similar nature. But they had a wider range of uh, interest with their members and actually expanded pretty quickly. So we're gonna talk a little bit about the history of the club and some of the things that uh, they did and some of the uh, programs and things that they undertook. Uh, and it's a brief history here in Batavia. The Holland Club was organized on November 3rd, 1902 when its members found their first location leasing the Wakeman House at 212 East Main Street. The club began with 75 members, and the membership dues amounted to $5 initiation and then a dollar each month. However, this was, the space was not sufficient, so they had to make some additions, but then they were soon able to buy the building outright and spent another $3,000 to add additional space. And then in 1912, another addition was added on to build a large enough meeting room to hose all their members as their membership continued to grow. Now, the Holland Club was known for some very specific uh, groups and events that they would hold. The first was its gun club, as they held regular shooting meets, and in 1909, they purchased the state shooting range on Law Street for the use of its members. They also had a tennis courts built behind the clubhouse and would hold uh, meets there as well. Uh, during the winters from 1908 to 1922, they gathered singers and performers from all over Batavia and Genesee County, known as the Holland Minstrels, to put on shows on stage at the Dellinger Theater on back-to-back -back nights. The chorus contained between 50 and uh, 100 male singers and other performers to put on skits uh, written by playwrights from the club members, uh, as well as uh, other members of the community. They also had bridge tournaments later on in their uh, history instead of the shooting and tennis tournaments. At its height, uh, the Holland Club had 200 members, uh, and they carried out a friendly rivalry with their neighbors, of course, sort of kitty corner across Main Street, and this was the Batavia Club. Now, the difference between the two organizations really came down to uh, the serving of alcohol, as the Batavia Club was affectionately known as the Wets because they had their bar, and the Holland Club called themselves the Dries because they did not have a bar. However, by the 1930s, their membership took a downturn and the club never recovered, and this could be attributed to the lack of a bar. Um, at the time, uh, 1934, they sold off the shooting range and leased out their tennis courts, and they also had to raise membership dues, which was really the death now, and they weren't able to maintain the cost of the building at 212 East Main Street. In 1935, the building was sold to Charles Mancuso and Sons, and the club disbanded for good. The last members of the Holland Club were offered membership at the Batavia Club, and 30 members took up the offer. And eventually the building was torn down and replaced by the Mancuso Office Building, which uh, today the site is located next to the old Mancuso Theater. Well, I hope you enjoyed this edition of the Holland Land Office Museum's Artifact Video Series. Uh, and in case you've missed any of the previous ones, you can go and check them out on our YouTube channel, Holland Land Office Museum. Uh, we have a whole playlist dedicated to the Artifact video series, and we're at about 80 videos now, so there's plenty of material to go through. And if you like anything that we've posted on our channel, be sure to uh, like and even subscribe as it helps the channel out, but also gets you notified ever quicker once we do release new things. Uh, but as always, the best way to come and experience uh, the things that we talk about in these videos is to stop by the museum, and we'll be happy to share even more uh, stories about them, and you can see them up close and personal uh, with firsthand and uh, learn even more.